students we are learning dissolution of partnership in dissolution we are going to learn one partner insolvent as per garner versus murray first we should know who is insolvent partner the partner who is unable to repay his business debt he is called a insolvent partner the other partner called a solvent partner as per garner versus murray we should remember three points first we should find the realization loss it should be transferred to all the partner in old profit sharing ratio second one the solvent partner should bring the realization loss by cash then third one we should find the deficiency of insolvent partner that deficiency should be shared by solvent partner in capital ratio just before dissolution we have to find capital ratio for the purpose of division of deficiency of insolvent partner yes look at the board the following is the balance sheet of x y and z as on 31st march 1994 liability assets capital general reserve creditor furniture plan stock debt are bank and z capital z is insolvent so z is insolvent partner x and y are called solvent partner but uh, is estate pays rupees 4000 so z is insolvent so he could pay how much 4000 out of his estate it is decided to dissolve the firm the assets were realized as follows debt are stock furniture plant these are all book value these are all realized value the dissolution expenses came to 5000 close the books of the firm if the capitals are fluctuating apply garner versus murray rule there is a english rule yes first uh, as usual we are going to prepare the realization account for that the first entry we should transfer all assets to realization account for that entry is realization account data to all assets except uh, cash and profit and loss account Yes, two furniture, two furniture, forty thousand. Second one, plant book value, plant book value twenty thousand. Third, we have stock. Its book value forty thousand. Then, data, data arts book value twenty thousand. So the first entry, all relation, all assets should be transferred to the relation account. Relation account data to all the assets except book value. Then we are going to realize this asset. For that entry is bank account data to realization. Here the assets are realized given in the adjustment. So data realized fifteen thousand. Stock realized thirty two thousand. Furniture twenty eight thousand plus. Plant realized at fourteen thousand. So total assets realization value will add this. We get this fifteen thousand, thirty-two thousand, twenty-eight thousand, plus fourteen thousand. So all assets realized for eighty-nine thousand, eighty-nine thousand. So first entry relation account data to all assets at book value. Second entry for the relation of assets bank account data to realization. Then we should take the external liability. Here we have only one liability called creditor. For that entry creditor account data to realization by creditor by creditors value forty thousand. So next we have to make payment to the creditor the realized value. The new value in relation to creditor are not given, so we have to pay the entire amount. For that entry is relation account data to bank. We have to make forty thousand payment. Then the realization expenses. For that entry is relation account data to bank. Relation account data to Bank, its value five thousand. Now we will close the relation account. In this problem, definitely the relation account debit side exceeds the credit side. Yes, forty thousand plus twenty thousand plus forty thousand plus twenty thousand plus forty thousand plus five thousand. So the total debit side value one lakh sixty five thousand. One lakh sixty five thousand. Deduct the credit side value eighty nine thousand. Minus forty thousand. So balance considered as realization loss by realization loss 
balancing figure. This loss shared by all the partner X, Y and Z capital in old profit sharing ratio. In this problem, old profit sharing ratio is not given. We should assume all partners sharing profit and loss in equal proportion. So 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. So if we divide 36,000 in 1 is to 1 is to 1, we we'll get 12,000 to X capital, 12,000 to Y capital, 12,000 to Z capital. Now we prepared relation account, we found relation loss transfer to old partner in old ratio. Now we are going to prepare the capital account. For that we we'll take the opening capital given in the balance sheet. So capital account credit side we should write as by balance BD. By balance BD. Capital X capital 50,000. Y capital 30,000. Is get Z capital recorded in the asset side. So yes, overdrawn it will be appeared in the debit side to balance BD. Or Z how much uh, 18,000. Then we should transfer general reserve to the partner capital account for that entry is general reserve account data to X capital, Y capital and Z capital. It will be recorded in the credit side by general reserve. The value 30,000. It should be divided in the old profit sharing ratio. So 10,000 to X, 10,000 to Y, 10,000 to Z. Then we should transfer the realization loss to the partner's capital account. For this entry, X capital, Y capital, Z capital account data to realization. So it will be recorded in the debit side. To realization. Relation. 12,000 to X, 12,000 to Y and 12,000 to Z. As per Garner versus Murray rule, the first rule is Relation loss should be shared by all partner in old profit sharing ratio. Then the second condition is the relation loss should brought by that uh, solvent partner by cash. So solvent partners are X and Y. They should bring the relation loss by cash. For that entry, bank account data to X capital and Y capital. Second condition by bank. So X is relation loss he brought that will be credited as by bank then why relation loss 12,000 he should bring that so first relation loss should be transferred to all partner capital account in old ratio then that solvent partner should bring the relation loss by cash so it will be credited as by bank to recorded in X capital and Y capital then we have that the insolvent partner he brought how much 4,000 out of his estate. For that entry is bank account data to Z capital. Bank account data to Z capital. So it will be recorded in the credit side of capital account as by bank. It will be recorded in the Z capital column. Then the same value recorded in the bank account debit side to Z capital. Its value 4000. Then first condition completed. Second condition the relation loss should bring by solvent partner by cash. The third condition, we have to close insolvent partner to find the total deficiency. First, we have to find the total deficiency of the insolvent partner. So for that, we have to close the Z capital. Definitely, the debit side of Z capital is heavier than credit side. So debit side total 36,000. 36,000. Credit side value how much? 16,000. So, debit side total 30,000, credit side value 14,000. So, 30,000 minus 14,000 will get one value that we called total deficiency. Total deficiency of Z. This total deficiency should be shared by X and Y in capital ratio just before dissolution. For that, we have to take capital, general reserve, Capital, general reserve and uh, pro if profit and loss account is given, we have to add profit and loss account also. If it is given in the liability side, if it is given in the liability side, we should add with the capital. If profit and loss account given in the asset side, it should be deducted from the capital. Yes. Now I am going to calculate the capital ratio. So X and Y. X capital 50,000. 
Y capital 30,000. X is general reserve share 10,000. Y is general reserve share how much? 10,000. If profit and loss account given in the liability side, it should be added. If profit and loss account given in the asset side, it should be deducted. Okay. Now, total this 60,000, 40,000. Now, we should divide the total deficiency in 6 is to 4. That is 6 by 10, 4 by 10. So, 16,000 multiplied by 6 by 10. 16,000 multiplied by 4 by 10. 16,000 16,000 multiplied by 6 by 10. So, 9,600 deficiency goes to X. The balance 16,000 into 4 divided by 10. So, balance deficiency 6,400 goes to Y. So total deficiency 16,000, it should be shared by solvent partner in capital just before dissolution. Capital ratio just before dissolution, that we ascertain the capital ratio just before dissolution. Now, the total deficiency 16,000 shared by X and Y. Further the entry is X capital, Y capital to Z capital. So it will be recorded in the credit side by X capital by Y capital. It will be recorded in the Z capital. So 9600 goes to X. Balance 6400 goes to Y. So it is a contra entry. This is the actual entry for this is X capital, Y capital to Z capital. So here capital recorded in the debit side as well as credit side. For this we have to record the contra entry. So the same posting will be recorded in the debit side as to Z capital. 9600 goes to X, 6400 goes to Y. Now we will balance solvent partners. Now we will balance the solvent partner. First year, take X, X debit side total 21600, credit side value 60, 72000. So credit side total heavier than debit side. So 72000, 72000 minus 21,600. So, surplus amount available surplus amount available for X 50,400. It should be transferred to bank account. For this entry is X capital account data to bank. Likewise, we have to balance the Y also. Y is capital, y is capital credit side is heavier than debit side. Y is capital account credit side heavier than debit side. So, 40, 52,000. 52,000. Minus 52,000 minus 12,000 minus 6,400. So surplus funds available for Y 33,600. 33, Students, we prepared capital account. Then we have to prepare bank account. Friends, now we are going to prepare bank account. For the preparation of bank account, first we should take opening balance of bank given in the balance sheet. So, go to the debit side of bank account, write to balance PD, its value 12,000. Then I am going to take banks from the relation and the capital account. So, relation account debit side, we have two banks. One is for payment to creditor, another one is payment for expenses. Yes, these two will be credited by realization. In bank account, it should be credited. One is for Payment to creditor, another one is for realization expenses, value 5000. Then credit side we have bank, this is for assets realization, the entry is bank account data to realization, so it will be recorded in the debit side, realization 89000. Then move to the capital account, debit side we have bank, this is the payment to X and Y capital, for this entry X capital, Y capital to bank, so it will be recorded in the credit side by X capital by Y capital, X capital 50,400, Y capital 33,600. Then move to the credit side, we have, we have bank. This bank brought by solvent partner for the realization loss. For that entry, bank account data to X capital and Y capital. So it will be recorded in the debit side to X capital to Y capital. 
value 12,000 and 12,000. Then one more bank we have. This is insolvent partner brought 4,000 out of his estate that we recorded already. For that entry is bank account data to Z capital. Now we have to balance the bank account. It should agree. So debit side bank account 12,000, 4,000, 89,000. 12,000 plus 12,000. So 1 lakh 29,000. Move to the credit side 40,000 plus 5,000 plus 50,400 plus 33,600. So credit side also we got 1 lakh 29,000. Students, we completed the first problem in relation to one partner in solvents applying Garner versus Mure. Yes, in next class we will solve different problem. Till then, bye and thank you.